Thank you for joining this video about Code Llama, a new family of open source large language models for code by Meta AI that includes three types of models foundation models, which are called Code Llama, Python specialization models, which are called Code Llama Python and instruction following models, which are called Code Llama Instruct. Each type was released with 7 billion, 13 billion, and 34 billion params. In this video, we'll explain the research paper behind them, titled Code Llama Open Foundation Models for Code, to understand how these models were created and how they perform comparing to other models, and also check what is the mysterious and natural Code Llama model that was not released yet and seems to perform better than all of the other three type of models. Let's start with a high-level view about the Code Llama training pipeline, with the following picture from the paper, and later on dive into some of the steps. We start with the Llama 2 model with 7 billion, 13 billion or 30 billion params, as we can see on the left. Here it is already worth mentioning that this is different than other successful open source code LLMs such as StarCoder, which are trained on code only. And here we start with Llama 2, that was trained on general purpose text and code data. The next step is code training and infilling code training, where the Llama 2 model is fine-tuned on a code dataset of 500 billion tokens. In this table from the paper, we can see that the dataset is comprised of 85% code, another 8% of natural language related to code, and the last 7% are natural language to help the model keep its natural language understanding skills. We'll expand more about what is the infilling code training a bit later in this video. For the Code Llama Python model, we have another step in the pipeline of Python code training, where the model we trained in the previous step continued training on another dataset of 100 billion tokens, which is targeted for Python. In the following table from the paper, we can see the distribution for this dataset, which contains 75% of Python code, 10% of other code, 10% of natural language related to code, and another 5% of natural language. The next step is long context fine tuning. Llama 2 supports a context lens of 4096 tokens, and with such context lens we could provide Llama 2 with a file or few files and get file level reasoning. But with Code Llama and this long context fine tuning, the context lens is increased to 100k. So now we can feed the model with a full code repository and get repository level reasoning. In this step, the model is actually fine tuned with 16k lens sequences and not 100k but it extrapolates well for sequences up to 100k tokens. To show this, we can look at the following chart from the paper, where we see the perplexity of the models on the y-axis and the context lens on the x-axis. The dotted line marks the context lens in fine-tuning, which is 16k, and afterwards we see the perplexity keeps going down up to 100k tokens, and then starts to go up. Another interesting observation for long context is that a recent paper titled Lost in the Middle showed that it is harder for language models to reason based on information in the middle of the context, comparing to information in the beginning or in the end of the context. In this chart from the paper they show fantastic results for key retrieval, where the x-axis is the location of the looked up key. Only the 7 billion version seems to have a significant drop when the answer sits in the beginning of the context. The way they test this is by randomly adding to a code context the following simple function that returns an integer, where value is a random number, and the prompt ends with an assert statement that checks the value returned from that function. We then measure the accuracy of the model yielding the correct value. Going back to the training pipeline, after the long context fine-tuning, we finish the process for the Code Llama models and for the Code Llama Python models. For the Code Llama Instruct model, there is another step in the pipeline, which is instruction fine tuning. As an example for what we can do with the instruction fine tuned model, we can see here an example from the paper, where rather than providing a code context to complete or fill, we provide the model with a prompt to create a bash command with few conditions, and the model yields the proper command, as we can see here, and also an explanation about each part of the command, as we can see below. The instruction fine-tuning is very interesting, so let's zoom in to understand more about what happens here. So, in the instruction fine-tuning step, we use three datasets. The first is the same dataset that was used for instruction tuning of Llama 2. This helps Code Llama Instruct to inherit Llama 2's instruction following and safety properties. However, this dataset does not contain many examples of code-related tasks. For this, we have the second and most interesting dataset which is created using self-instruct method. What does self-instruct mean? First, we provide Llama 2 70B with a prompt to write programming interview questions. 
With this step, we get 62,000 interview style programming questions. And after removing exact duplicates, we end with 52,000 questions. Then, for each question, we pass it twice via code Lama 7b. First with the prompt to generate unit test for the question. And second with the prompt to generate 10 solutions for the question. Code Lama then generates the unit test and 10 solutions for the question. We run the unit test on the generated solution to tell which solution is correct and add the first passing solution along with the question and test to the self-instruct dataset. The third dataset is rehearsal, which contains a small proportion of data which was already used in the first step of the pipeline to avoid regression during instruction fine-tuning. Before moving on, if you enjoy this content, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to help this channel grow. Going back to the training pipeline, we now completed the process for the code Lama Instruct model as well. But let's shortly go back into another interesting capability which we skipped on earlier, and it is called in feeling. This capability is only supported where we see the two errors, so only for the 7 billion and 30 billion versions of the code Lama and code Lama Instruct. Let's expand a bit more on this. So, language models are only trained to predict the next token in a sequence where they get a prompt and yield the most probable next token. Within feeling, the model can get a surrounding context and predict the missing information. So, how do we train the model to support in feeling? Given input sequence, we randomly split it into a prefix, a middle part, and a suffix. Then, we shuffle the three parts into two options. One is prefix, suffix, middle, where the sequence starts with a prefix, followed by the suffix and the middle part at the end. This format is called PSM, shortcut for prefix suffix middle. The second format is SPM, which stands for suffix prefix middle, where we start with the suffix followed by the prefix and the middle at the end. We then train the model to yield the reordered sequence. We are now ready to review some of the results that were shared in the paper. Starting with the following table that was shared in Meta AI blog, we see that the researcher have benchmarked code Lama models on human eval MBPP, which is a Python dataset, and multilingual human eval. Impressively, except from the closed source GPT-4, which achieves 67% on human eval, code Lama models outperform all other evaluated models on all three benchmarks. In the paper, they also include results for another model, which was not released yet, called Unnatural Code Lama, with 34 B params, which outperforms the other code Lama models with 62.2% on human eval and 61.2% on MBPP. So what is this model? This model is actually the code Lama Python 34B model, which was fine-tuned over the self-instruct dataset, which we covered earlier. This model was inspired by a research paper for Meta-AI titled Unnatural Instruction, tuning language model with almost no human labor. Another interesting chart from the paper shows the correlation between performance for different programming languages, where a value of 1 means perfect correlation, and we can see very high correlation for some couple of languages. For example, there is 0 0.99 correlation for C Sharp and Java, which have a similar nature. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.